The life of every Christian is first and foremost a response to God's love for all of us. A love that is profoundly expressed in giving us His only Son that whoever believes in Him may have eternal life. Saint Benedict understood this and taught his monks to ground themselves in the love of God and to freely share it with one another. Let us now listen to Father Gerardo Maria de Villa OSB, Rector President of San Beda College Alabang and Director of Catholic Benedictine Formation, as he leads us in reflecting on the Benedictine hallmark of love of Christ and neighbor. A reading from the first letter of John. We have come to know and to believe in the love God has for us. God is love, and whoever remains in love remains in God, and God in Him. In this is love brought to perfection among us, that we have confidence on the day of judgment, because as He is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear, because fear has to do with punishment. And so one who fears is not yet perfect in love. We love because He first loved us. If anyone says, I love God, but hates his brother, he is a liar. For whoever does not love a brother whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. The Word of the Lord Dear friends, there's a lot to learn about love. Recently, I came across a video clip of two siblings on my news feed. Let me describe it. Little brother strikes his big brother with what seems to be a red cube of hard plastic with the edge of it hitting the lower part of big brother's collarbone. Ouch! You could see big brother's face grimacing in pain. Big brother raises his arm to get even but changes his mind. He reaches for little brother's forearm and kisses it instead. Then little brother hits big brother again with his hand and grasps big brother's forearm, pinching it. Another ouch. The acute pain gets big brother very angry. He raises his hand in exasperation and is about to strike his little brother, but relents. Little brother grabs big brother's wrist then lets it go immediately, realizing Big Brother is stronger. Big Brother raises his hand to strike him this time around, but seeing his little brother cower in fear, he puts his arm around his little brother instead and kisses him on the cheek. My dear friends, many times 
we anger God by our sins and God overlooks them. We know this will not always be the case. One day in our stubbornness, God will strike us down. Precisely knowing so, the humble of heart eventually manifests the fear of the Lord. Now, I would like to think of this fear as authentic humility, which is a manifestation of love. Love begets love as the maxim goes, and God, who is love, never fails in this. In your holy rule, dear Saint Benedict, you taught us that love is at the heart of monastic life. You pondered on the love of God who gave His only Son, Jesus, to save us by His death and resurrection. As you rejoiced in this great love of God for humanity, you urge us to likewise ponder this mystery and to share its fruits freely with others. Pray for us, Saint Benedict, that as we profess our faith in Jesus Christ, we may always recognize His presence in our brothers and sisters in need. In this difficult time of the COVID-19 pandemic, intercede for the Church that as she ministers to the hungry, the oppressed, and the sick, she may make God's love visible to a world so much in need of His mercy. Amen.